welcome back to our channel. Today I am going to be telling you all about a new food that I am feeding Stassi, Harper, and the Chihuahua Girls. So I am so, so excited about this and about my decision to switch. Um, I just can't even tell you how excited I am. And it's more so at myself. And I will explain um, all of that in a second. But we are now feeding raw. So I switched them from the from that I was feeding and I am back to feeding raw. And I'm so excited. I'm excited at myself because I used to feed raw for many, many years. Um, probably about six or seven years, I exclusively fed raw. But when Harper came along two years ago, she did not like putting a snood on her head and you know she's a cavalier king charles spaniel and she has the long ears so when i would feed the raw i would have to put something called a snood over her head to hold her ears back and that was so that her ears didn't get in her food because the raw is wet it's sort of wet and I did have a dog one time, a Cavalier, years ago that was eating the raw and some of the raw food got in his ears and he actually chewed his ears off to the ear leather. So from that point on, it took forever to grow back. So for that, from that point on, I would put snoods on them to eat the raw food so that it would hold their ears back so that they wouldn't get it all in their ears. So fast forward to when we got Harper two years ago, I no longer had those Cavaliers that I had before and she hated the snood. She would just sit there and she would not eat at all. At the time we also had, we also had Bristol and Bristol had the long mustache just like Stassi is getting and she's going to get a very long mustache because I kept her in full coat as well. And I would have to hand feed Bristol the little medallions, the little raw medallions, because it would get all in her face. So I was extremely busy at the time and um, Harper wouldn't eat with the snoot on. I just didn't have time to hand feed Bristol the medallions and to, you know, get Harper to be okay with wearing the snood while she was um, eating. She just hated it and I tried and I tried and I tried and I absolutely was a firm believer in raw. I loved it. I loved all of the benefits that raw gave and um, I just I just was so busy that I couldn't no longer do it. And so I kind of convinced myself that if I went to a grain free, all natural dry kibble, that that would be just as good as feeding the raw, which really it's not. So, and I didn't realize that until this little diva came along. And she was eating the from just like everyone else. I don't know why she's like so, like, what is your problem this morning? Huh? You don't want to be found looking at your bow. Your bow is all messed up, my goodness. Okay, so this little baby girl here is what really kind of alerted me that, hey, something is not right with this food. Not that it's a bad food at all. I don't want to say that it's a bad food. It's not, because all four of my dogs were eating the from, and then we had we had tried Merrick before that. So before we did from, we were on Merrick grain free, which is another great grain free um, food. But it is not the same as raw. And the reason why I know that is because this little girl here was doing the nasty. She was eating her poop. I hated to even like admit to that because it's so embarrassing even though I know that it is a normal thing for dogs to do although it's not normal I mean it's common I guess but um, there was something wrong 
that the reason why she was doing that. I knew that it wasn't behavioral. And the reason why I knew that was because her poop smelled and looked different from all the other three dogs. So even though they were all eating the same thing, her poop looked and smelled different. And it was because she wasn't digesting it properly. So basically, I'm gonna let her down. I'm gonna let her down because she is like wanting to go. She probably needs to potty. So it was that she wasn't uh, digesting the food properly and it was basically coming out the same way that it went in, which meant that her body was not digesting all of the proteins and things that it needed to survive, basically. I mean, yes, yeah, she would have survived, but whether or not she would have continued to thrive, we don't know. Um, luckily, I noticed the problem because I am very in tuned with my dogs and I noticed that problem and I contacted someone in the um, wellness industry for dogs and he told me that I should add some pure protein to her meal. First of all, he did say, you need to be feeding her raw. And I'm like, I know, but I'm so busy and I don't want her hair to get messed up and I don't want her face to get messed up. And he's like, okay, well, if you don't want to do that, then you need to be adding some protein to her meals because her pure protein to her meals because she is telling you that she is not getting enough protein. So I was like, okay. So I started doing that and immediately, I'm saying like the very next poop after I added pure protein, um, I added some chicken one time, I added some turkey the next time. And whenever, whenever I was doing that, she wouldn't eat her poop. It looked different, it smelled different, and she would not eat it. So I knew right then and there, the food was the problem for her. Um, the other ones, even though they were pooping up a storm, as always with a, a kibble, they, you will have like lots of poop volume compared to when you feed raw. They weren't eating their poop, so they were digesting it better than she was. But I realized at that point that it was not the right food for her. And I wasn't going to keep adding protein to an already expensive food when I knew that that was the problem and that's when my light bulb went off again and said, you need to go back to feeding raw. And that's what I did. And I'm so excited because I found out that Nature's Variety, which is the brand that I use and that I fed for the six, seven years, whatever, whenever I fed raw, came out with the little bites. And that is what has made the difference for us. And I am so thrilled because now my dogs can get back on their raw, which they have, and not get a messy face because the little bite sizes are a lot less messier than the medallions. What I used to feed was the medallions and they were like pieces, they were like disc and they were about this big and um, they, you know, would have to like stick their face in it and kind of break off pieces and stuff to get it. Well, the little bitty bites are very small so they can like pick each one up and also with the medallions, I would have to thaw them out the night before because they were bigger. And so they were a lot softer when they were eating them. Whereas with the little bites, I just take them out about 20 minutes ahead of time. And they're still kind of like that icy, almost frozen, but not frozen um, consistency. And so they're not real messy at all. So it's working out perfectly and they are back on it. And I am so thrilled. Um, I am going to be the first one to tell you that I am not, she's sitting over here off camera, by the way. Do you not want to be in the, in the picture? Huh? Everyone wants to see you, Missy. Huh? Sometimes she gets hot, like sitting on my lap. So I think that's her problem. Um, we'll try her again. Cause I know y'all want to see her. Anyway, um, I'm sorry. I keep saying, um, um, I have a bad habit with that, but let's get back to it. I am going to be the first one to say that I am not an expert to sit here and tell you all of the scientific reasons why raw is better. 
Um, I know the reasons why it's better, but I just can't articulate it as well as I think you guys need to hear it. So I am going to leave a link to Dr. Karen Becker's videos with Marcola Health, I think is um, her channel name. She is a holistic veterinarian and she has tons of videos on just all sorts of very, very interesting topics regarding your pet. And because she is a holistic veterinarian, she, you know, believes in the raw food diet. And she has a great series of three videos that explains why feeding your dogs raw is a better alternative than feeding a kibble. And um, I will leave those links below so that you can go on and look at the videos yourself so that you can get more um, scientific, I guess, information from an actual doctor rather than me. I will just tell you from an owner's standpoint and from um, someone who has fed raw for, or who had fed raw for a very long time, the things that I love about feeding raw. First of all, I do know that that is what a dog was designed to eat. Um, it is unprocessed, it is not cooked, so all of the vitamins and minerals stay true to form. Um, it is high protein, but not super, super high protein um, to where it's gonna harm your pet at all. It is actually the best thing for them. It has a moisture content, so you're getting some moisture in there. And I love the fact that when I fed raw, their skin is better, their coat is better, and the poop volume is like tiny compared to kibble. Even with the grain-free kibbles that I was feeding, because, you know, I always, when I switched over from raw, I fed a grain-free from the start, but the amount of poop that compared to, or that they had compared to the amount of poop when they were raw fed was m more than half of the, the amount, or less than half, less than half half of the amount you get you get my idea um just so much different it is the poop is smaller it's more dense it doesn't smell as as um bad as you know with the kibble um it is it, it's just it's such a difference and the reason why is because they are digesting almost all of what they're eating. So their little digestive system is processing it, which means that their vitamins are getting to their organs that they need to get to and not just pooped out. So you will see a huge difference like right away if you start to feed raw with your poop volume. And if you do have a poop eater, um, try it because that is one of the most recommended things to do is if you have you know a dog that does that is to feed them raw because they're going to digest it more so they're not going to want to eat it because it's going to come out um, digested instead of you know this undigested food that they're going to think that oh this is just more of my food that i just ate so that is, you know, the main differences, and I highly suggest you, you know, listen to those videos that I'm going to link below, and you know, familiarize, familiarize yourself with that because it is really, truly one of the best things that you can do for your pets. We all want our pets to live as long as possible, and I truly, truly believe in my heart that feeding a raw food diet is one of the best things that you can do for your pet. And that is why I am so, so excited that I found the little bites and that it works out for my, um, for my situation with me being very busy and working and it, you know, it just, it's easy. And I'm so glad that they have that now so that I can get back to feeding what is in my heart. And so I'm going to show you um, what exactly I'm feeding right now. Okay, so 
there are many different brands of raw foods out there and because more and more people are realizing the benefits of feeding raw they are even off they're even offering the raw at PetSmart now which when I was feeding raw many years ago I would have to go to specialty boutiques to buy this nature's variety raw because of you know the holistic bandwagon wasn't really as popular as it is now a lot of your veterinarians would you know give people um, hell on you know why are you feeding raw you know you should be feeding this science diet or whatever it is they were selling because they weren't really taught this in vet school so a lot of veterinarians are not really um, educated on feeding raw and they have a lot of myths and misconceptions so I urge you to do your own research and if your vet gives you any problems feeding raw then I suggest either finding another vet or you know showing them the proof that the raw is really the best way to go as um, you know in all of my videos I do want to say that you know I am NOT a doctor I am NOT an expert I just do a lot of research I talk to a lot of people and I have owned pets for years and I like sharing what I have found to be the best things for us and for my pet family so there are many different types of raw you can feed your own raw diet which that can be a little tricky and if you really really need to know what you're doing that would take a lot of research um, to make sure that you are giving your pets exactly what they need so i choose to feed a commercially prepared raw diet and this is the company that i used many years ago the whole time i didn't switch companies um, and this is by nature's variety and the only thing is when i fed it before i fed the medallions and now i'm feeding the little bites because it will keep her face cleaner and this is how it comes so it comes frozen and you scoop it out and serve within minutes so it does thaw out within minutes so normally what i do is i will when i get up in the morning i feed her in the morning i feed everyone in the morning and i get <laughs> i'll get up and i will you know go to the freezer and scoop out their food and just let it sit there for a little bit while i'm you know doing my other things that i do in the morning to get ready and then then i feed it I, or I feed them um, by that time they are thought out enough to where they're not like frozen solid but they are still like a little icy which like this morning she ate hers I, I kind of took them out a little bit later than normal and she ate her, hers almost frozen she and the rest of the pets love 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 this food so all I do is I do keep a scoop inside the bag and that makes it easy to just scoop out exactly what they need. On Nature's Variety's website, they do give you a feeding guide that you can go in and put the activity level of your pet as far as, and as well as their weight and everything that um, will kind of tell you how much to start with or how much to feed and then you can always just adjust it from there. One of the great things about feeding a raw diet is that pets tend to keep their weight at a normal stable level um, and they don't get obese and that's another great thing that I love about feeding raw. So what I do, like I said, is I have the scoop in here I will scoop it out and then let it thaw a little bit and feed. It's very simple. What, I, what I've been doing with Stasi is at nighttime, I'll band her mustache. And I'm not only doing that for the food because I, she really doesn't get real messy with the long hair with these little bites. But I'm also doing that because she is teething and she's getting wet in the face and you know how important it is to keep the face dry. So I've just noticed that if I band her at night, then in the morning she's banded 
with a little mustache to where you've probably seen like show dogs where they have like just the two little rubber bands right here. So I'll do that at night and then in the morning, she, her face is nice and clear of any hair she eats and then I wash her face and do her daily routine after breakfast anyway. So if you are doing a daily routine with your dog, um, you don't necessarily have to band the mustache, you just feed before you do that daily routine because you're going to be washing the face anyway. If you have a dog that has the long hair. Now if you have like my little chihuahuas, they don't, I mean, it doesn't matter because they don't have the long hair to get in the way. But this has been working out really, really good. And I will just show you the little bite size pieces so you can kind of see they are just small. So they're very small and these are some clumped together and they all come like loose and they're easy to scoop out. So there are several different varieties and so she likes it. We're gonna give her, gonna give her a few of them on this plate here. Now these are totally frozen. So normally they would be a little bit softer than this, but she loves them. So this is called the Nature's Variety Instinct Raw Bites. This is the lamb. This is the one that I'm feeding right now, but there are several different varieties. There's a chicken and tuna, there's chicken, there's turkey, there's venison, I think there's beef. And Nature's Variety recommends that you rotate, rotate the proteins. So, you know, with each bag, you should be rotating those proteins so that way that will give them variety as well as get their bodies used to eating different protein sources. Um, put that right there. So they also recommend that you kind of rotate between products. They do have a freeze dried uh, version of this, and it, but it's expensive. It doesn't come in a very big um, bag at all. And so that's not something that you would want to, you know, use as your main food because it would cost you a fortune. Basically, that's it. I mean, I, I firmly believe in feeding raw and they love it, they do well on it, they thrive on it. And make sure you watch those videos that I am going to link below because that will give you all of the information on raw feeding. And basically, that's it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the box below. And please like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye. Say bye, Jackie. <laughs> bye, guys. So, there's the phone.